Good afternoon folks, it's just gone 1.30 and yes, um, <laughs> another reel to reel. I'm making this video for the benefit of the people who are subscribed to my Harvey De Niro channel because as you know I've got uh, Harvey's Vintage Audio and Reel to Reel Heaven and I've already made a video on this on that ch other channel so if you haven't subscribed, if you can subscribe to my other channel that'd be great. I'll put a link at the bottom. Just in case but um yeah um i was working on a tamberg stereo machine i've changed a load of components on it that was round about christmas before i caught the covid yeah bummer and um i've put that aside for now because i actually won this on ebay round about christmas time and i had to go and pick it up but because i had covid i couldn't go and pick it up so the guy was passing by and he dropped it off for me which was really kind of him so uh, that was brilliant and um, i think he had uh, bowel cancer and he started some sites because i said to him look you know i don't mind uh, paying for petrol whatever you know because you do me a favor and he said i'll just donate some money to um this uh, site he started for um ex-cancer sufferers so which i did so here we go and this is a TIAC A2300SX and it's one hell of a machine. It's beautiful. I love it. I've already tested the electronics. I've made a recording. I've played it back and I can't tell the difference between the the source. Like I've got a CD player there. And um, I made a recording <clears throat> from the CD. And you know what? I was flicking backwards and forwards because you can... It's got three heads and you can actually switch between the source like the cd coming in live and the playback which is about a split second later and i couldn't tell the difference between the playback and the uh, source and the cd identical couldn't believe it so i haven't even taken the back off yet uh, there's a few things i've got to do i've got to respray that top bit it's like an alloy and it's probably been stored in the damp somewhere at some point because you can see a little rusty screw there so I've got some special paint. I'm just going to blow it over with some paint I've got. It's textured, textured paint because it's got like a rough finish to it. So I think they use textured paint on it. I'm not sure. And see the uh, capstan there. It's gone a bit funny there. It's not rust. It's um, can I say? I don't think it's rust. I think it's the oxide from the tape. And I've tried clearly cleaning it like crazy and it won't come off i might try some acetone that might work or some lighter fuel i'll try that first but if i do take the paint off what i'll do i'll just repaint it i've got some silver matte colored paint so i'll uh, just repaint that the sides need redoing it's faded over the years it should be dark uh yeah dark dark brown whatever dark oak whatever it is so i've got some stuff here for that <clears throat> there we go wood repairing oil yeah it should be like a dark finish but obviously it's faded and i'm going to take the panels off it's only four screws just take them off and uh restain it i should have done this two days ago but ugh, i'm the biggest procrastinator in the world i keep saying i'm going to do things and i'll leave it for days or weeks whatever uh let's add a bent knob as well that knob wasn't straight like it is now I had to use some special uh, pliers for that, like special wrench. But now it's uh, completely straight. Before, when I turned it all the way to the left, like that, that was actually wonky, like that. And it's you know you could see it. It was uh, quite uh, prominent. It was actually bent like that. You could see it. And then when you turned the knob, it was straightening up. And then going the other way is not very good. I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I'll straighten that all out. I have to take the uh, knobs off, obviously, and it's fine now. Look at that, completely straight. But um, the next video I'll do, I'm going to make this short because uh, you can see the full video on my other channel. Um, I'm going to take these uh, wooden panels off, restain it with that stuff, and um, I shall play it and do a little uh, recording from the CD. A live recording and then you can actually hear what it sounds like i'm only i'm only going to use a little crappy amplifier you know the one i use for the karaoke stuff there is a little chinese one there <laughs> so i'll just use that for now
and I've got some crappy speakers, some old Technics speakers. They're not bad, actually. I keep calling them crappy, but they're not that bad. There they are, there, look. Technics. But um, they're not the best in the world, but they sound all right. I mean, if you listen to my karaoke stuff, um, you know, you can sort of see for yourself or listen for yourself. So there we go. There's the beautiful TAC A2300 SX. And I must get the other machine back together. I mean, I've got to, as soon as I do the sides on this, I think I'll put it to one side and then get back to the other one. So I changed a hell of a load of components. There was no audio coming from it at all. It was absolutely dead. So I changed one of the uh, rectifiers on it. A rectifier is something that converts AC to DC. And I checked it out and it was blown. So I put a new one in. Uh, changed two blow capacitors and there's one of them big that's a big sod and the modern ones are much smaller so you can see that burn mark there can't you and they're both like that so what I'm going to do I'm going to saw this open there and take out the innards and put the new one in there make two little holes up there for the wires solder it to that and I'll put them back so I want it to look original so I will use the original casing, but all the innards will be gone. And there's the old uh, rectifier. There we go. That's for the other machine, the Tamburg stereo I'm working on. Well, I was working on about Christmas time. It's a weird one, actually. It's got five connectors. But one of them are two Earths. I think these two are two Earths. So uh, one of connects to the other through the uh, printed circuit board, so I don't have to physically connect it. Should be alright, hopefully. Touch wood. And there we go, that's blown. So, so you think I've got all these knobs around and I, I should really work on something and then put it all back together and not start on another job because these bits can go missing and that would be a nightmare if they went missing. Uh, you know, I can't remember what these where these bits go now. Oh god. So that's the trouble. If you leave it for a long time, you start forgetting where the bits go. Uh, ugh forgotten already oh god it'll come to me so there we go Whoop, nearly filled there eh? right i haven't had anything to eat yet. it's nearly come out the two o'clock so there we go i'll upload this to my harvey de nero channel and i'll put a link to my harvey's vintage audio channel if you uh, haven't been there yet if you can sub to that that'd be great right then folks you have a great day and i'll talk to you later bye for now